on a stormy February night in the year 2000, the small town of Shelby, North Carolina became the epicenter of a mystery that would haunt the nation. Nine-year-old Aisha Degree vanished from her bed, leaving behind a trail of puzzling clues and unanswered questions. As the thunder rolled and the rain poured down, a family's world shattered, giving way to a search that stretched far beyond the sleepy streets of their community. What propelled this girl into the night, armed with little more than her favorite book and an unshakable sense of purpose? 24 years later, the disappearance of Asian Degree remains an eerie whisper in the winds of North Carolina. A tale of innocence lost and a mystery that beckons the curious, urging them to unravel the threads of one of the most perplexing cases in American history. This is The Baffling Disappearance of Asia Degree. On Monday, February 14, 2000, the then nine-year-old Asia Degree disappeared from Shelby, Cleveland County, North Carolina, in the United States, outside of Charlotte. In the years since the event, no one has been able to solve the case. Local and state police and other law enforcement agencies like the Federal Bureau of Investigation have followed numerous possible leads only to discover dead ends. The FBI displays the details of her case on a website under her full name, Asia Jaquilla Degree, in the kidnappings missing persons category of cases. The FBI and Cleveland County Sheriff's Office continue to take tips about the case. On the quiet evening of Sunday, February 13, 2000, in a modest two-bedroom home in North Carolina, Aisha Degree and her older brother, O'Brien, settled into their shared room for the night. The day had been a typical one, filled with church activities and a visit to a relative's house. Aisha's parents, Harold and Aquila, maintained a disciplined household with strict rules, including early bedtimes and a prohibition on internet use, fearing the dark tales of online predators. The night unfolded with a sense of normalcy until an unexpected power outage prompted Harold to check on his children at 12.30 a.m., finding them sound asleep. Again, at 2.30 a.m., he confirmed their safety before retiring himself. But in the early hours of February 14th, while a relentless storm raged outside, nine-year-old Aisha inexplicably embarked on a mysterious journey armed with a book bag she had packed earlier. Her brother, half asleep, heard the creak of her bed, but assumed she was merely shifting in her sleep. Unbeknownst to her parents, sleeping just rooms away, Aisha slipped into the stormy night. It was only when Aquila woke up at 5.45 a.m., intending to start the day, that the family realized Aisha was missing. Panic set in as they scoured the house and called out into the rain-drenched streets. Meanwhile, between 3.35 and 4.15 a.m., amidst the howling wind and pelting rain, two separate drivers spotted a small figure in white clothes walking along Highway 18. When one of them tried to approach the child, presumably Aisha, she darted into the dense forest, disappearing into the shadows of the trees. In those frantic early morning hours, Aquila's calls for Aisha echoed through the neighborhood a chilling prelude to a day that would mark the beginning of a decades-long mystery. As the sun rose over North Carolina, the tight-knit community awoke to the unsettling reality of Asia Degree's disappearance, a puzzle that continues to confound and haunt those who remember the girl who vanished into the storm. As dawn broke on February 14, 2000, the close-knit community of Shelby, North Carolina, awoke to the unsettling news of Asia Degree's disappearance. Local law enforcement swiftly responded, arriving with tracking dogs in tow. However, the relentless storm that had engulfed the night proved to be an adversary. It had washed away any trace of Asia's scent, rendering the dog's skills futile. The search rapidly escalated into a community-wide effort, with police leading teams combing through the area. Local clergy and members of Aisha's church gathered around the Degree family, offering comfort and support in a time of unimaginable distress. Despite their exhaustive efforts, the day closed with little more than the discovery of a mitten unrelated to Aisha, leaving her parents gripped by fear. 
Aisha, they knew, had ventured out without any winter outerwear, defenseless against the harsh elements. The only clue to her possible route came from drivers who, after hearing media reports, called in to report seeing a child along Highway 18. The following day, February 15th, the searchers stumbled upon a crucial clue. In a business shed near the highway, items belonging to Asia surfaced, a green marker, a pencil, and a distinctive yellow hair bow. Amid these personal belongings were candy wrappers and a photograph of an unidentified girl around Asia's age. Despite expanding the search to a two to three mile radius around the forest, results were sparse. On February 16th, as the community's concern deepened, Aquila Degree revealed a poignant detail. Asia had chosen only her favorite clothes for this mysterious journey, including a pair of blue jeans with red stripes. The police, alongside other law enforcement agencies, intensified their efforts. News coverage and flyers blanketed the area. Over a week, search teams dedicated more than 9,000 hours and pursued over 300 leads, exploring abandoned buildings and even water wells in hopes of finding Asia. Despite their relentless pursuit, the overwhelming lack of evidence eventually led to the heartbreaking decision to call off the search, leaving a community in anguish and a mystery that lingered in the hearts of all who knew the young girl who vanished into a stormy night. In the wake of the halted local search for Asia Degree, law enforcement persisted in their investigation, drawing on witness accounts, the timeline preceding her disappearance, and public tips. The Degrees, in a bid to amplify their daughter's story, appeared on national television shows like America's Most Wanted, The Montel Williams Show, and The Oprah Winfrey Show. By March 2000, a billboard was erected near NC-18, the last known location of Asia, keeping her case in the public eye. Despite these efforts, for over a year, no significant breakthroughs occurred. However, in May 2001, race car driver Travis Kittleston reignited media interest by featuring Aisha's image on his car during a televised event, expressing hope for her return. But it wasn't until August 3rd of that year when a notable discovery was made. A construction crew in Morganton, some 26 miles from Shelby, found a plastic bag containing Aisha's book bag, complete with her name and contact information. The FBI took charge of the items, analyzing them at their Quantico lab. The bag held a copy of McGillicott's Pool by Dr. Seuss and a New Kids on the Block t-shirt, neither personally belonging to Asia. Further tips, including one from a county jail inmate in 2004, led to false leads. Efforts to keep Asia's memory alive included the FBI partnering with local businesses in 2005 to display her age-progressed image on service vehicles. In 2008, her parents established a scholarship and an annual walk in her honor, initially held on February 14th, but later moved to avoid overshadowing Valentine's Day. By 2015, following Aquila's public criticism of the investigation's racial biases, a reinvigorated effort by state and federal agencies ensued, involving re-interviews and a review of all evidence, accompanied by a substantial reward for information. A significant lead emerged in 2016. The FBI announced that Asia may have been abducted by someone driving a distinctive 1970s model car. The FBI's Child Abduction Rapid Deployment Team reopened the case in September 2017, conducting extensive interviews and seeking public help with the newfound evidence. However, a claim made in 2020 by Marcus Mellon, a prisoner with a history of child sex crimes, alleging knowledge of Aisha's fate, was later debunked by Cleveland County Sheriff Alan Norman in 2021. As the search for Asia continues, she's affectionately referred to as Cleveland County's sweetheart and Shelby's sweetheart, a poignant reminder of the community's enduring hope and commitment to finding answers in this long-standing mystery. After the initial search for Asia Degree was called off, former Cleveland County Sheriff Dan Crawford expressed to the media that they hadn't encountered any significant leads in the first critical 72 hours or even the week following her disappearance. He speculated that Asia might have planned a short journey from home, which then took a tragic turn. Crawford pointed out two stark scenarios. Asia could have succumbed to the elements or become lost, or she might have been abducted, possibly by a local, a passing motorist, or even someone from out of town. The traffic on NC-18 with vehicles from various states added complexity to narrowing down the possibilities. 
the case perplexed investigators, as Aisha didn't fit the typical profile of a runaway child. She was a good student, and her parents were well regarded in the community. Crawford acknowledged that the impetus for a child to leave home could be something seemingly minor. Aquila Degree described Aisha as being fearful of dogs and thus unlikely to venture out alone. However, she also mentioned that the children spent time outdoors and were often at home alone after school and believed that Aisha was comfortable with the boundaries set at home. The investigation found no indications of turmoil in Aisha's home or school life. Despite Aisha being upset over following out of a basketball game the Saturday before she disappeared, her mother observed that she appeared to have recovered from the disappointment by Sunday. Detective Tim Adams, who had been on the case for over a decade by February 2022, shared in an FBI interview that Aisha's peers remembered her as jovial, friendly, and sports-loving, traits not typically associated with runaways. However, he emphasized that Aisha would not have left home with her belongings without a substantial reason. Adams urged the public not to view the case as cold, pointing out that new names and leads occasionally surfaced during the investigation. He suggested that changes in relationships could lead individuals to come forward with new information as they reassess their connections to potential suspects. This ongoing possibility of new leads and the evolving dynamics of relationships keeps the case active and investigators hopeful for a breakthrough. Aisha Degree's story defies easy explanation. Her vanishing act was either a flight to a perceived better life aided by a trusted individual or a sinister abduction by someone with malevolent intentions, known or unknown to her. The presence of her favorite clothes in the bag raises questions. Was Aisha running towards something or someone she believed in, or was she simply seeking a temporary escape with a friend's family? Did the allure of a secret romance or a youthful crush play a role in her decision to leave. The evidence leans away from an accidental demise in the wilderness. The location where her belongings were found suggests an abduction. Aisha's intense reaction to her basketball team's loss added another layer to this enigma. Her distress was so pronounced that it required consoling from her mother and teammates. Yet Aquila's insistence that Aisha recovered quickly seems to minimize this episode. Is there more to this aspect of her life that was overlooked? Then there's the haunting coincidence of the date of her disappearance, February 14th, which also marks her parents' wedding anniversary. This leads to further speculation. Could Aquila's vocal fears about pedophiles and abductions have played a role in Aisha's decision to leave? Does the significance of Valentine's Day imply a message? And what of the family dynamics? Is there an aspect of life in the Degree household that remains undiscovered? Despite the myriad of theories and questions, the community and people across the globe remember Aisha as a child full of sweetness, undeserving of her fate. The mystery of Aisha Degree remains an open, active case for the Cleveland County Sheriff's Office and the FBI. Anyone with information about Aisha is encouraged to contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-843-5678 or visit the FBI's dedicated page for Asia at fbi.gov forward slash Asia Degree in the hope of shedding some light on this perplexing case.